Hello Sacred Beans and welcome to my channel. Today we are going to talk about what moon phase the moon was in when you were born and what that tells you about yourself as well as which other moon sign are you most compatible with and we'll go over how to work with all of the lunar cycles throughout each month to harness your own powers and manifest your desires. So before we begin, if you're interested in this kind of stuff and you want to be part of our spiritual community growing together while on our sacred journeys, then please hit that subscribe button. But without further ado, let's go because I love talking about Mama Moon. <laughs> So the first thing you're going to need to find out what moon phase the moon was in when you were born is your birth chart, astro-charts.com. Once you go there, you want to click on birth chart, and then you want to fill out all of your information. After you do that, you want to scroll all the way down until you see special features. And right there, it is going to tell you what the moon was in when you were born. For example, mine is a waxing crescent moon. So once you have that, that is all you need for this video. So let's get started with the eight phases of the moon and to learn a little bit about yourself. So let's start with the first one, the new moon. So when the moon is black, there you can't even see it in the sky. So if you were born under a new moon, you are adventurous, enthusiastic, creative, enjoy trying new things and facing new challenges in life. Sometimes though, you have a hard time trusting others. But that being said, you are confident, independent, and comfortable with your emotions. If you're born under the new moon, you are most compatible with people born under the full moon, which makes sense. That is who you're most compatible with. But you're also compatible with a wanting and waxing crescent, crescent moons. So you are compatible with me. So if you're watching this and you're a new moon, please tell me down below because compatibility can be not just romantic relationships. It could be friends or soulmates who are in your life just to provide some guidance to you, people you are drawn to or connected with. So it's not all about a love compatibility. It could be just somebody you like having around or in your life someone you vibe with. <laughs> Another thing about new moon people is that your project in this lifetime is to create the one spot in the world where you belong, which is likely a place nobody has ever stood before. So if you want to hear more sweet messages about yourself, um, learn more about yourself and what it means to be born under the new moon, then please go to the link in my description, which will tell you all about you and being born under the new moon. So let's move on to Waxing Crescent, which is mine. Uh, waxing Crescent is very similar to New Moon. That's why we are so compatible. But you may not like taking risks or hesitate taking risks. You are also ambitious, sure-footed in your beliefs, which leads you to sometimes coming off as stubborn, a little argumentative at times, hard-headed, but when you're fighting for what is right, perseverance and strength is a great thing. Yes, it is. <laughs> you're a lot more patient than new moons because you know it can be challenging getting what you want, but you're driven to always get your way and do what you want. That is true. <laughs> so I am most compatible with a wanting gibbous, gibbous moon. So if you're a wanting gibbous moon, we are most compatible. Hey. <laughs> But yeah, let me know if you're a wanting give us moon in the comments because I want to know my compatibility people. I want to know who's watching and that would make sense if you're watching and you're one of those two because we're most compatible. I'm also compatible with the new moon, which we already know, and first quarter moon. So please let me know below. So it says the purpose or a little bit more information of being born under the waxing crescent is... The crescent moon has been a symbol of growth, prosperity, and hope. The word crescent derived from the Latin word crescer, <laughs> meaning to increase or improve or cultivate, all of which hints at your purpose. So this is when it gets weird when I was reading about this. So I or you will find success in a new country or an area. 
you'll be the first in your family to earn a college degree, which I am, <laughs> and you'll be the first to leave a family business to make it out on your own. I am the first one in my family to leave and go live somewhere else and instead of my hometown. And I wouldn't say I was in the family business, but there is a family business business being from Key West um, fishing and my dad and brother still do that and I could have easily gone that route in the past and helped them out with the family business but I'm the first one to leave and not continue that. <laughs> it also says you're an artist and a genuine dreamer which I highly agree with all of that. But if you are also a waxing crescent and you want to learn more about yourself, you will also have a link below that will take you right to all the additional information, just because I think it's pretty interesting to learn a bit more, because I can't put, go over everything in this video. So let's move on to the first quarter moons. So you're a well-rounded person filled with potential. You are equally under the influence of dark and light since the moon is exactly half illuminated. This phase is symbolic of both growth and restraint. You are capable, strong individuals, but you need extra motivation to reach your goals. But at your best, you're a doer and like to make things happen. You can strike out to a new directions away from the past. You love to launch new businesses, but once they're successful, you're compelled to leave and start something else. Decisiveness is your gift and emotions energize you. So you, first quarter, are most compatible with third quarter and as well as waxing crescent and waxing gibbous. So you're also a little compatible with me. So make sure to comment below if you are a first quarter moon. Let's move on to waxing gibbous. So you are great at forming relationships since you're so compassionate and motivated. You're positive and enthusiastic, but it may also cause you to be fickle and indecisive. Additionally, you're a thinker and have an analytical mind. You are good at problem solving and always interested in developing new strategies. Some may call you a perfectionist though, <laughs> so you enjoy doing things that are the correct way without mistakes. You do not want to repeat or fail. You give your all to any project that you are passionate about. And you are most compatible with a wanting crescent moon and also compatible with a full moon or the first quarter. So let me know if this is you down below. Moving on to the full moon. So if you were born under the full moon, you are incredibly powerful and a unique individual, likely to have a free spirit and a wild heart, which makes sense being born under a full moon. <laughs> you may also be impulsive, passionate, and energetic. This can lead to incredible success in your life or chaos. You are searching for more understanding of yourself from within, you are not afraid of changes or moving on from circumstances that are unfavorable or closing chapters. Most likely, you have big expectations for yourself and you want your life to count for something, which don't we all, but especially you. You want to make the most of this life. So you are most compatible with the new moon, like I said earlier, but you're also compatible with the waxing and wanting gibbous moons. Moving on to wanting gibbous. So you are filled with potential and you're highly aware with unique potential for growth. You're a great communicator, but sometimes have to remember when it's time to listen. I have trouble with that. <laughs> you are brave, knowledgeable, and you want to teach others about your own learning experiences. You were designed to inform and inspire other people. You are a natural leader, a natural teacher. <laughs> You are most compatible with the waxing crescent, me, because I feel like we are very similar in the way that I need to listen more and that I do like talking about the things I learn, obviously. <laughs> so let me know if you're a wanting gibbous, but you're also um, compatible with the full moon or third quarter people. Um, also, all of you guys can read more about yourself below. You each have your own link for the different phases. For third quarter, moving on, it can be difficult or frightening to leave the past behind. You are loyal, sentimental, and caring third quarters. 
you're not afraid of making mistakes and you want to make an impression, even if that means starting fresh. You're not afraid to take the path to live and be comfortable with your most honest version of yourself. That is great. You are also ahead of your time. You are a visionary of revolutionary and you are deeply thoughtful, which means you're frequently frustrated with the way things are right now in the world. You may often find yourself planting seeds for a future that's still years away from blooming. I think that's beautiful. <laughs> but definitely you want to read more about yourself because there's a lot of information, especially for you third, third quarter people. Uh, your link's below. But you are most compatible with first quarter mooners, also wanting crescent and wanting gibbous. Moving on to wanting crescent which is the last phase of the moon. But after this, we are going to talk about how you can manifest your desires and dreams each month using the phases of the lunar cycle. So before that, let's go over the last one, which is the wanting crescent moon. If you're born under this moon, you are wise and you possess special talents and or knowledge with a unique perspective that can lead to a life of success, imagination, and fulfillment. However, this can also make it difficult to connect with people or form relationships. That being said, you rarely understand just how creative and intuitive you are, but you're special. Morning Crescent. People, you are special and your intuitive gifts are stronger than most. You definitely need to read more about yourself too in the link in the description just because there's a lot more messages for you that you might not know about yourself and you are most compatible with waxing gibbous people but you're also compatible with new mooners and the third quarter phase. So now let's move on. I want to just tell you a brief way that you can work with the moon's phases to manifest whatever you desire. So you want to start on a new moon. So when, and then you'll go in this order, basically the same exact order I just went now, that is the phases of the moon. So you want to start this on the new moon and it is okay to Google when is the next new moon. Cause that's what I'm going to do. Cause I have no idea what phase the moon is right now. I know I'm horrible, <laughs> but the new moon during that time when you can't see it in the sky, that is when you want to visualize what you want to achieve. And you can do this by writing it down in a diary, a vision board, a journal. I also have a video of a spell or ritual you can do during the new moon to manifest what you want or get what you want. So I'll link that above for the new moon. If you want to check it out, it's a little bit of an older video, so it might be interesting for you to watch. <laughs> but basically, during the new moon, you just want to set your intention for what you want to achieve by the end of the lunar cycle or by the full moon. So let's move on after the new moon when it becomes a waxing crescent, which is my phase. <laughs> that's when you want to meditate on your desires. So really hone in to what it is that you want. The next phase is the first quarter moon, and this is when you want to make decisions, take action to overcome any resistance that is blocking your path to getting what you want. You want to add and change things that need tweaking for your intentions to be fulfilled by the end of the cycle. The next one is the waxing gibbous moon. This is when you want to clarify your intention. So look inward and figure out what you need to change in your life. You can also recite positive affirmations, which will give you confidence to evolve and transform during the full moon. <laughs> so the next phase is the full moon. So this is the time to let go and release. Now is your chance to quit any bad habits, leave any bad situations or people behind and focus on healing. I also have a full moon video, which is even older than the new moon video, which I'll link that above too, which gives you a little bit of a ritual or spell you can do during the full moon. But moving on to the wanting gibbous, this is your time to revisit your intentions. Gratitude is essential during the wanting gibbous. And it says to even try writing a letter of thank you or appreciation to the universe. So write a letter to the universe and really own your power. 
Next phase is the third quarter moon. So this is the time for spring cleaning. Basically, you want to clean out what no longer serves you because you have to release, you know, things that you no longer want to make space for the new. So this is the time to do that. Make space you also want to give your mind a final cleanse through a meditation and then any karma or justice will now be coming full circle dur during this third quarter moon. Also, cord cutting is effective during this time. So when you want to officially cut people out of your life, the best time to do that is during the third quarter moon. And then... The final phase is the wanting crescent. This is the time to be still and at peace. You want to rest and focus and reflect. This is the time to find peace before starting the new cycle. You want to look back at all the highs and lows of what exactly was the messages that you received or what did the moon teach you during this month? What were the ups and downs? What did you learn from this? What did the moon show you? What lessons did you get from the moon? <laughs> it, this says it's a good time to take a crystal bath with salt, flowers, oils, you know, candles. Take a nice bath, really rest and soak in all of that. I wish I still had a bathtub. That's one of the downsides of an RV is you don't have a nice big bathtub. <laughs> but basically that bath is going to get you ready for the new lunar journey cycle which will be starting all over again a few days after that final phase so hopefully you guys enjoyed this video please let me know if you haven't already what was your moon phase that you were born under let me know below in the comments also let me know if this is helpful um i know this is kind of more on the witchy side of working with the moon but we are getting close to halloween and i did set out a pumpkin <laughs> So let me know too if you have already decorated for Halloween. I want to put up lights soon like I've done in the past. So that will be coming soon. <laughs> but thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a great day and I will see you in the next video.